Welcome to the Spirit Scouts. Before you head out on your first solo camping trip, fix yourself up. Looking good. Now it's time to begin your camping trip. You open the letter you carried from the rowboat, it says. Dear Spirit Scout, Welcome to the island of Cozy Grove. Utilities and other public services are not available on the island, so please check your provisions. Rangers from the mainland rarely visit the island. You'll need to be self-sufficient. Note that previous campers have reported run-ins with bears in the area, so use caution. Have fun and keep your fire burning. Scouting services. Spirit Scout motto, all those who are lost deserve kindness. Okay, so it's it's December. It's Christmas Eve, in fact. Um, so I wanted to play this earlier. Well, it's not Christmas Eve here, but it is when I release the video. Shh, time. Shh. Um, yeah, so I did want to start the game earlier. But, yeah, I didn't have I, I didn't have time. Things have been pretty hectic. So we can move just by mouse clicking. Or WASD, which is what I am using right here. Um, try clicking the embers. Okay. How old are those starter logs, Scout? Tastes like a century at least. So where have you brought us this time? Uh... Yeah, some place called Cozy Grove. Cozy Grove? I know the name. I've licked it off of old brochures tossed into my embers. I sense dozens of wounded. Restless spirits here, desperate for help, but not conscious of it. This doesn't seem like the sort of place young spirit scouts typically go for their first solitary excursion. Oh well, if you were sent here, the scouts must have been confident you'd be up for the task. Are you ready to see what's out there, beyond my firelight? I think so. Good enough. I see the ghost of a ranger at the edge of the woods. She's been waiting there a long, long time. Don't be scared, Scout. Go introduce yourself. After all, you're here to help. The fire seems brighter. Okay. Oh. Snowballs. And free snow crystals. Amount of dirt. Amount of disturbed dirt. Diggable with a shovel. Maybe if you had a shovel. Another imaginary camper must have brewed up my Lady Grey along strong this m a little strong this morning. Unless, say, you're not a real living person, are you? Well, I haven't heard news this exciting since the baby warblers hatched. Welcome to Camp Cozy Grove. I'm Charlotte, your local ranger, also a ghost. If you run into any problems, I'm your bear. Say, that uniform of yours, it looks familiar. Oh my, you're a spirit scout. That does change the forecast a bit. Puts the sun behind the clouds, so to speak. But I'm trained to fix all your ghostly woes. 
That sounds like a classic Spirit Scout propaganda. <laughs> You're not the first Spirit Scout to visit this island. Many years ago, another ambitious youngster summoned a fire here in hopes of earning her final merit badge. Do I do something? It did not go as planned. No use dwelling on the past though, is there? You're here now, friend. She's not. If you're planning to stay the night, remember the first rule of wilderness survival. Keep warm. Somewhere around here is a wood log. Find it. Toss it on the fire. I should make things a little cosier for both of us. Uh, what's that about? Drop spirit wood onto the fire. O okay. Hey, come back here. Huh. Maybe I need to throw snowballs at them? Hold in hand. Uh Oh. Whoops. Feels like a supposed to participate in a snowball fight but I'm not sure how to throw hmm. well it's supposed to be a wood log around here Some kind of spirit. Oh, there it is. Sometimes objects are hidden on the ground. This is spirit wood. Where did you get this? Uh, a ghost told me about it. Well, first of all, thank you. It's delicious. But the presence of spirit wood confirms my suspicions. The haunting of Cozy Grove runs deep. There are many lost souls here in need of your help. They can't rest until someone has helped them come to terms with their past lives. They might not even remember who they are or how they died. If enough time has elapsed since they passed away. Ah. That spirit wood has fully caught fire now. My light is expanding. More of the island is waking. Lost places are being remembered. I see someone new. A crafter of useful things. Say, that's a nice fire you have going there. Still a bit small though, huh? See if you can find more spirit wood out there. A little warmth would do this island good. A healthy fire's sure to call some distant campers home. You earned a new badge, log burner. Cozy Grove. Story advanced. Coins? Better go grab those coins. Wait, is that the spirit? I was just thinking. Do you like the island more during the day or at night? In the day you can see everything, but it's only at night that you can see the things that glow. Fireflies, those strange mushrooms. 
I guess you could say bioluminescence is a hobby of mine. You seem, you seem like you need more health. Oh. I can't climb this? No, I just go for it. Okay. Can't pick up the lantern either. Oh, I guess you can see me. So sorry, I figured I'd be invisible. Apology accepted. That's very, very, very kind of you. More than I deserve, I'm sure. Until I find out why I'm stuck here, I'm afraid I'll be haunting us both. Maybe I can make it up to you, maker of buddy. Not to brag, but I'm pretty handy as ghosts go. Bring me three branches, okay? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Branch. I sort of remember where I saw one. Was there a fallen log? Okay, well, let's have a explore around, see if we can find some logs. There's a little uh, water pump there. Oh, coin. Well, the music is very relaxing. Have not found any logs yet? Ah, could be here? No? Well, I found one, I guess from, from these? Okay, I'm not sure why clicking... Oh, there's one. Oh, I guess it was there and I just didn't see it. Just being blind. Oh, there's one now. Okay, found all three. Look at these sticks, what beauties. A twist here, a scoop there, and voila, your first shovel. Not my finest work, my paws kept slipping through the lathe. But if you want to dig up the soft dirt mounds around the island, that shovel will do the trick. See, spirits, I've helped this poor scout. My haunting is complete. I'm still here, aren't I? Darn it. Darn it. One flimsy shovel isn't going to do it, is it? Of course not. Well, don't worry. I'm full of ideas for tools. I'll give you all the help you need to stay cosy in our grove. Hope that shovel works out. Uh, and have a spirit log too. Oh, nice. Oh, we've now got like a, a workshop and a bunch more coins. Oh, nice. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, first I'll put a fire on here. Here's a log for you. Well done. My light is expanding again. I now see an old friend. Mr. Kit has noticed our beacon and has set up his canteen shop. Huh? He looks quite at home here. But wait, there's more. I see a strange and salty figure standing on the shore. And as he has arrived, something else has vanished. Something important. Oh dear. Best go see for yourself. Fire seems brighter. Now a scout free. And the tutorial is completed. Let's dig up some of these mounds then. There we go. 100 old, old coins. Nice. Oh, there's one. I got twenty there. Oh, a potato. Delicious. Can I help you with something? Sometimes you can find things on the island simply by exploring with a keen eye. But other times you'll need to get your hands dirty. Have you noticed those leaf piles li laying around? Try digging through those when you come across them. You'll be surprised at what you'll find. Just the other day I thought I saw an old book peeking out of the leaves. Wilderness Guide. Maybe I lost it by a burrow? It'll probably be under a leaf pile. A leaf pile. Not sure if we've seen one yet. Whoa! You are huge! Why, hello there, prospective shopper. I must confess, when I followed your fire, I never expected to end up here again. This island's fallen into quite a state since my last visit. But how rude of me. I haven't properly introduced myself. You may call me Mr. Kit. I know your name, of course, but I am far too polite to repeat it. I have a standing agreement with the Spirit Scouts, you know. Wherever you go, Kit's Canteen shall be there for all your buying and selling needs. The only catch? I set the prices. Uh, let's see what else for sale. A fishing rod, how much? 20 old coins, I'll buy that. Yep, sounds great. Take my money. Yeah, we've got a fishing rod. Ah, there's a pile of leaves. Oh yeah, it has grown. Wow. There's a bunch of creatures here now. In life, I was a bear of the sea. I sped from cosy grove to the main and back a hundred times over. Unnatural, some said, for a bear to fly, twixt the waves as I did. But did I listen? No, 
No, I did not. And now? Now I am transformed. A vast young person. How long have you been standing there? Your court mirror is citing my origins. I am Captain Billweather Snout, though some now call me the Seagull Bear. Ahoy, Captain. Ahoy, indeed. Tis a strange thing to be a Seagull Bear. My two halves have precious little in common. Except, of course, for a love of fish. Speaking of, are you hungry, young sailor? Fetch me a fishing rod and I'll show you what's on the menu. Oh, how convenient. Look what's in my hand. A fishing rod. Wait, how do I give it to him? Uh, there we go. I say that that will do. That will do nicely. Well, what are you waiting for? If you want to find us a proper meal, you're going to have to pluck it from the deep yourself. So take that rod and catch us a whopper. Well, okay. Did you give me back the fishing rod? Ah, okay, let's swap it over. Doesn't matter where I fish, let's fish here. Why is it going up there? Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's what you do when when they attack it, then you pick it up. So you've got to go in the opposite direction to try and get it over to uh, the water. You will wait for the. Uh, the bauble? Whatever the fish thing's called, to go down. And then you can get your fish. Seems pretty straightforward. Okay, I've got fish. I see you've already been testing out your rod. Well, either give me the one you've got, or catch a new one. I'll be waiting. He needs any fish. I've got any fish. Here you go. Have the milk fish. Uh. Oh, this is nothing we can rummage through. Huh. So I need to find that fish, that specific fish. So there's any fish. Any fish. Oh, there we go. I had to talk to him. Not seen much around these parts. A common catch. Oh, I don't give him the rare one, then do I?
Yeah, give him the common one. Have the common one. Ah, a fine fin you've managed to dredge up there. Good eating. I think you and I will have plenty of time for fishing. Now that your boat's washed out to sea. Ah, uh, we're stuck here. Well, I guess things could be worse. But how do we get home? My boat did what? <laughs> Oh yes, a loose knot and a fickle tide was all it took to send your vessel on its merry way back to Neptune's bosom. Don't blame yourself. This island's a maelstrom of ill fortunes, churned by our wretched tales of ghostly woe. Until we spirits find a measure of peace, none may leave this place. So, young sailor, you're a living scout and I'm a ghost. We have something in common. We're both stranded here on Cozy Grove. Whatever plans you had of solving all our ghostly problems in a single evening, put them out of your mind. We bears aren't your overnight project anymore. We're your neighbours. Squawk. Yeah, here's a, uh, uh, a ghost log for your troubles. Oh, wow. And this part is now kind of come to life. I do like that, how you do things and it brings the islands together. There's little ghost people everywhere. You'd think it would be really spooky and creepy, but it's not. It's, it's nice. Oh wow. Put stuff in my storage. Check out clothing collection. Ooh. Upgrade my tent. I want to burn something. Um, how do I upgrade my tent? Feeling cramped? I can upgrade your tent with 12 additional storage slots for 5,000 old coins. It goes directly to the Scouting National Committee. I don't see a cent. No things have changed my mind, because I don't know how many coins I have. How do I find that out? There's my badges. How do I know? Hmm. How do I know how many coins I have then? Is it in here? So Charlotte needs the wilderness guides. So these are the things I'm looking for. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be a way of knowing how many coins I have. Oh well. Maybe I have to unlock that ability? Here's a log. Delicious. Hmm, that's strange. I'm still hungry. I think one more spirit log should do it though. I sense at least three logs out there. Maybe close, maybe far. Yeah, so we need to rummage through uh, piles of leaves. And I think we need to go through... I'll dig more things up if we can, if we can find anything to dig up. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's how many coins I have. Oh, okay. I only have 161. I need 5,000? Wow. That's a long way to go.
Not sure why I do of the other bits of wood. The other logs. If the spirit logs are what we really need. snow coming down seem to have exhausted all the fish oh no there's one there fish. Oh, there's a bunch here. Oh, that one was quick. An alewife. Another minnow. ourselves a fishing badge it seems oh rain now rather than snow But it's not going to dampen our spirits. So can we eat the fish? If so, I wonder what that does. I still don't have the book. That's it, why it's an old Spirit Scout Wilderness Guide. Oh, I do have it? Uh, I don't remember picking that up, but okay. And hey, the Memento Collection portion of this book is still intact. That's where Scouts track their progress helping local spirits. Which I have to admit, you've got a pretty good start on. I'll hold on to this book and use it to track your progress helping the spirits of Cozy Grove. Would you like to look at the Memento Collection book now? Yes, show me my sweet relationship progress. That's the spirit, here it is. You've discovered one of Charlotte Pine's memories. Oh, I can see the comic version as well. Okay. Huh. Yay! Spirit word. 
and her heart increases. Okay, so it's kind of like a reputation bar. Here's your log. Ah, another healthy dose of positive spirit energy. You're doing well, young scout. The more you help these ghosts, the more they will remember. It may go slowly at first, but trust and understand. Oh, trust and understanding is not a thing you can manufacture quickly. Help these bears. Guide them through remembering themselves. Eventually, they will find peace. Ah, my light shines further. It illuminates lost corners in time. I see another figure, absorbed with finding and delivering lost things to everyone but himself. You two have that in common, I think. I'm now scout rank four. Oh, you have something else for me? You know, we aren't the only spirits that could use your help. Sometimes lost or needy animals visit these woods. In fact, I think one wandered into Mr. Kit's shop just this morning. It may look like a simple charm of a young, placid bird. If you buy and bring it to me, I'll show you its secrets. The, the island itself is just growing, which is crazy. I wonder how big this place can get. So buy new clothes on new look. I can get oh Oh my oh wow, there's so much stuff. So a critter net, seven thousand five hundred, wow. That's two hundred and fifty, I don't have that. Yeah, spur camera. Get flower branches. Got a store catalog upgrade of ten thousand. Wait, can I sell him stuff then? Can I sell him these? Sell for nine hundred and fifty old coins. Wow. Okay. Sounds great, here you go! <laughs> Before he changes his mind. One thousand one hundred for snowballs, yeah! <laughs> Twenty, fifty, three hundred. Yeah, that's not worth a ton, so I will uh, unselect these. Oh, wait, okay. That's weird, it seemed to select them all at one point. 2000 now. So I can buy this. Yep, I'll take that. 10,000, so, so yeah, I want 7,500 and I'll get a uh, crit on that. There aren't any critters around at the moment, but it's always best to uh, be prepared. Need to look out for these um, snow piles. They make me rich.
or another potato. Uh, did anything down here grow? I thought it'd take forever to get the cash, but turns out these snow piles are very lucrative. Now ignore the ghost for, for a sec. Just want to probably wander around and get as many of these resources as we can. These things don't massively stand out to my eyes, so I do have to pay a little bit of attention. Otherwise, I could easily miss the, the things to interact with. Uh, let's go talk to Charlotte. Yes, this is the bird charm I was talking about. Seems like a simple trinket, doesn't it? But when it is placed on the ground. It transformed itself into a ghost bird. If they're given specific foods and kept near things they like, they'll thrive. The poor bird is hungry. I'll order some food it will like, but the food won't arrive until tomorrow. In the meantime, let's find a spot to live. Why don't you place this animal on the ground, near your campfire? Oh, here's a log. Only four more logs before I'm full. I sense at least five logs out there. Maybe close, maybe far. How do I... Ah. Um... Here, by the... No, here. Animal Minder. A happy spirit animal. Feed cooked food, then harvest essence. Surround it with items it likes to increase your harvest. Likes decoration, lamp, rustic decor. Dislikes imp. Free hearts for best harvest. And we can pet it. This creature seems to like you. What would you like to name it? Oh. Mm, more names. Uh, more names? Yeah. Chi Chi. Yep. How do we cook food? Uh, or burn something. Potato? Burn for six roasted root vegetables. Okay. Two potatoes, six roasted root. Yep, sounds great. Wow. 
Well, that is on that. Um, let's try this. What does that turn into? Nope. Still isn't there. What is that icon? Does it matter what the cooked food is? Let's try giving it some roasted mushrooms, I guess. Uh, well, that didn't seem to work. Do I feed it? You'd think there'd be a feed thing here, but no. Oh, does it have to be in the hand? Isn't this just going to throw it? So yeah, it's after a very specific one, okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what food it wants then. Special stuff for that. Hey there, Maker Buddy. I'm pretty sure I owe you an apology. I'm pretty sure you don't. I hate to say you're wrong, but you're wrong. I made you that slipshod shovel earlier, hoping a good deed would get me out of being a ghost. Of course, it hasn't worked out. Maybe because the shovel I gave you is not my best work. Let me show you what I mean. First, though, I'm going to need some soft wood root vegetables, and wood branches. That's unfortunate. I cooked my, uh... My root vegetables, right? Quite a lot of materials you've gathered. Oh, that will work? Okay. And I bet you're wondering, what sort of tool is he going to make for me now? Sorry, no tool this time. Did you know folks used to come here from all over just to learn how to build and fix things for themselves? Maybe if I pass that school on to you, I can pass on myself. 
My crafting bench is open to you anytime. Just stop by and let me know when you want to craft something. Here, have some crafting recipes to get you started. Just select one and learn recipe. Then you can bring the ingredients to me and get crafting. I believe you already have enough wood to build yourself something interesting. Great. Let me show you what to let me show you to my workshop. A skipping stone. Okay. Gold ingot. Semi precious gem. Precious gem. Softwood. Hardwood. Well, I don't have enough branches. Planter. Let's make a table, it's rustic. Oh no, we we need more. Okay. So we'll come back with them when we find more branches. Oh, you just gave me a bunch. Whenever I start up my table saw, the noise and smell of fresh sawdust takes me back to my early days of woodworking. You said to me back then that the blade is unforgiving and needs to be respected. I know it's just workshop safety advice, but I really took it to heart. So we can make a table. Okay. Yeah, made a table, nice. High Priest Artifact, okay, learn this. Oh yeah, let's, uh, let's burn more fish, so we can get some more fish bones. A chill wind blows ashore. Ghost that I am, it blows clean through me, sending a shiver through my bones and my very soul. A few more feathers under my coat might soften a breeze a bit. Too bad I just molted. Exploring. Look by a photo booth standee. So I need to look for feathers now. Ah. So we need five. I just sound very cold and windy.
So I think that's all the feathers we need. That's a fine set of feathers. But why bother helping me, little castaway, when you have such troubles of your own? Just being neighborly. Ha, ah, neighborly. You might find some what but stock in that concept here on Cozy Grove. But it doesn't mean much to us birds. Still, I thank you. Of these bits of fluff padding my coat. The wind's bite does lose its teeth. But bundled so a rule of the afterlife comes to me, clear as white rum. Even in death, you cannot refeather your wings. Oh, fine. Thank you kindly, sir. Sardine. How rare of sardines? Uncommon. Throw these logs on the fire. More! Only three more logs before I'm full. This is a log in your bag. Give it to me! Delicious! Only two more logs before I'm full. I sense someone has a log they're eager to give you if you can find help, if you can help them. Patrice Furback, the postal bear at your disposal. You know, when I joined service, I figured I'd be in it for life. Uh, and I was. But I never suspected the job would keep going after. Let me tell you, delivering mail to ghosts, that's a whole new bag. Whole new mail bag? Oh, busting out the postal humour for the jump. You and I will get along just fine. Before I went boots up, my work had a certain routine. Deliveries for local residents arrived at the town post office at 0800 sharp. I relayed those deliveries to the listed residences. Ghost deliveries, though, they're processed through the psych psychic plane. They just show up wherever and whenever they want to. 
I ran patrol this morning, looking for new arrivals. But I'd bet a spirit lock there are more packages out there, waiting to be tracked down. Okay, let's go find the packages he's needing and didn't mislay totally. Oh, Spirit Bird Essence, nice. But I didn't even feed you. I don't know how that works. I guess just, like, food just... has a... Uh, like, increases the chance of, it, of the essence dropping? I don't know what we do of the essence. Oh, did I only need one parcel? Oh, okay. Did you feel it? The rush of finding a package? The thrill of checking for a well-formatted address. Let me be straight with you. I love this job. But I could use a postal helper. Tell me with the USDs. A postal helper? How exciting. Oh yes, the thrill of the post. Unidentified supernatural deliverables, aka USDs, will be our primary assignment. Most of them are pretty tame. They might rattle or, or whisper. But that's it. But if you come across a troublesome package, one that's screaming in Aramaic or spewing demon fire, well, you just send that puppy my way. Because one way or another, that thing's bound to be addressed to me. Oh, and it seems I've already received a letter addressed to you as well. Wait, I have a mailbox here? Yes, here it is. Hi, it's me, Postal Bear. I sent this letter to you via myself so you could see how it works. I've also included a little thank you gift for your help. Yeah, I'll get a present. Ten parsnips. Delicious. Cheerio, Scout. I hope you're settling into your solo camping adventure. Don't be disheartened if you can't find a, near, a needy ghost immediately. I intentionally picked a safe island that's not too haunted. When you finally find a ghost, try to help it make a peace with itself. And when you do, you'll finally graduate to second degree. P.S. I try to write to you every day, unless I get busy. Common log cabin. Oh, a common log cabin end table. Nice. I hope this provides the perfect final touch for a wonderful gift. Ms. Carew's. One gift wrap. And we got some spirit wood. Yum. Just one final log and I'll be full. I sense someone has a log they're eager to give you if you can help them. Ah, oh, there you are.
Oh crap, something. A high priest artifact. An ancient shrine. Uh, what's the difference? Well, let's do a planter. Yeah. Crafted. Let's put a planter by our tent. The end table. I don't. I'm not sure what the end table even looks like. Heads up, postal helper. Looks like another past marked delivery incoming. When you're alive, letters arrive at the post office a few days after they're sent. But ghost letters? They don't run on regular time. And they're likely to show up at a non-standard address. Like in leaf piles. Or behind rocks. So if you find any letters out there, please bring them by the office. Is we'll look out for letters. Our fire looks like he's ready to burst. Ah, huh. well, there's one. Apparently, we need three. hole to dig up. Another potato. I must have missed it somewhere. Easily done, because it's almost like playing Where's Wally? Trying to find the things around here. I 
Where are you, letter? Sneaky letter hiding away. Oh. Where could it be? Oh, there it is. It was hiding behind a rock. Hey, you found some loose letters. A thank you card for Jeremy, lawsuit notice for Clyde, bills for my wife Anya, and here's one for me. Ah, threat of dis disembowelment by a hundred skeletal claws. Standard stuff. I'll make sure the rest of these get to the right place. And hey, check in with me once in a while in case I've got anything for you. on the table. Oh, nothing I can pick up. I'm getting hungrier for some more spirit wood each time you feed me. And that spirit wood is growing harder to find. How can I be, when there are still so many needy shadows hiding in Cozy Grove? I can feel at least 13 more soul lost souls waiting to be helped. Wait, I see someone standing in a forest. Or am I mistaken? Perhaps that's just an oddly shaped tree. <laughs> 